Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and on my channel I talk about all things green including plants, sustainability and plant-based food and I also have my own small business where I make sustainable macrame home decor and accessories so I will be talking about stuff like that as well. I haven't gotten to a lot of these things yet. I know most of my content so far has been plant things but I'm plant obsessed so what can you expect? I know my last video was an unboxing of plants that I got but I also bought myself some plants for my birthday while well, my mom and my boyfriend <laughs> bought me some so I got to choose them so I'm gonna show you which plants I got and my boyfriend wanted to get some plants for himself so I'll show you which ones he picked out too so yeah let's get right into the video Okay, so we ended up going to Robert Plant's greenhouse here in Ottawa. I had never been before. It's like, I think 30 minutes from my house, but it was so nice going. I made Tony take me. I was like, you don't have to come in if you don't want to, because <laughs> I knew I was going to take forever in there. Like, I literally walked all of the aisles like five times um, just to make sure that I really picked out the ones that I wanted, but also it's just so beautiful in there. I'm gonna put some clips here so you can see. I shared a reel, or I will be sharing a reel on Instagram of my little uh, trip to the greenhouse. So yeah, it was so beautiful and I got some amazing plants. I posted on Instagram plants that I wanted to check off my wish list, um, and I think I ended up getting only one, <laughs> and it's a very small version of it. But all of these other plants I have been wanting to, they just weren't the ones that I thought I was going to get. But yeah, let's see what I got. You can kind of see some back here, but I'm gonna go through them, tell you the names in case like you don't know or you haven't seen them before and maybe you'll wanna get some too. If you have any tips for me for these plants, please do share them because they're all new to me. Okay, so I got a couple plants. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or eight. I can't count, <laughs> but I'm just gonna start with my philodendron that I got. So I ended up getting a philodendron micans. Um, I've had one of these before, a small one, and it didn't do the best after I moved. So I brought it and I think it had a little bit of shock, I think maybe from the cold. Um, it wasn't doing so good and then I kind of didn't take care of it to bring it back to life so I ended up having to take cuttings and it was just been so busy I kind of forgot about my cuttings too I think I have one cutting with one leaf on it still it was much smaller than this but yeah I used to have Mikeins but this is my new one and I'm gonna take better care of you I promise it's actually so cute I haven't done anything with these plants yet, cleaned them or anything, so um, I'm gonna be doing that in my stories later. But yeah, this one was $30. I felt like that was a pretty good price because I got my small one, I think, was it almost a year ago? Maybe six or eight months ago for $25. It was much smaller than this, so I think $29 was a pretty good price. Um, but let me know if you've gotten yours for cheaper. Here in Canada, I feel like especially in Ontario, that's a pretty common price that I've seen. Um, what am I saying? No, it's it's a pretty good price for what I've seen. <laughs> um, I think usually smaller plants are around $30, but maybe it's changed. Maybe these are getting more popular. I love those velvety leaves so much. Let's see if I can show you. They're just so pretty. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want to let this trail or if I want to, um, I kind of want to make it go up a pole because I see so many people do that and the leaves get so big, but I'm not sure if I have space for that. So trailing might have to stay. What is this little thing? I think it's a root. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that over here. Can I just move back a little bit? Um, I thought I was going to do my philodendron, so the other one that I got is just this just nice heart leaf philodendron, philodendron cordatum I guess is the name. Um, 
it's it's really cute. I've had one of these too. I overwatered it, so <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. This one. Um but this one looks so nice and healthy compared to the one that I had actually, so I feel like it's gonna do better. I feel like it wasn't completely my fault that it died. <laughs> but it was 10 bucks, so I was like, I'm gonna get a cute little one. And it needs to be repotted soon too, but usually I let my plants stay a little bit, see if they acclimate well, and then I only repot if I feel like they really need to. I wait like a little bit and then I repot, but here's this guy. So cute. Let me know if you have any trailing philodendron and please tell me in the comments because they're such pretty plants. I have a couple philodendron but not that many trailing ones so yeah that is one of them. Um, next I also got some other pothos. You can say pothos or pothos. So this one I picked up right away. I was like I need this in my life because I've been seeing it all over Instagram. Um, what is this one called again? It's the Global Green Pothos. So it's like two different shades of green. There's like a lighter green and a darker green in the leaves. I'll insert a clip here of it so that you can see. Um, I really need to wash it. It's very dusty, but it's beautiful and it's growing so nice and lush. I hope I can keep it this way. I also see the roots at the bottom, but I feel like pothos don't mind that much if they're a little bit root bound. In my opinion, I feel like if they um, have too much soil, they are more likely to be overwatered, at least in my case. So I'm not gonna repot this one until I feel like it really needs to be repotted. But yeah, it's so pretty. I really, really wanted this one. And this one was 35. It's pretty lush. Um, I'm not sure if this one is like I haven't seen this one until recently, so I don't know if it's like newer because I haven't seen people talk about it until recently, so I feel like 35 is pretty good, but again, let me know if you had this one or and what you paid for it to see if I got a good deal, but I would have paid probably 50 for this because I think it's so pretty. Okay, maybe not 50. I think 35 was good. <laughs> okay, and I ended up getting another one. Now, this one was definitely... Um, on my wish list. Sorry if like the lighting changed a little bit. Um, I'm, I was trying to make it nicer in here and I put up my my um, my ring light. I feel like now I, it looks better because it was shining and I felt like it was just, I was just white. Like I was just like glowing. I don't know if I'm still doing that. It's really my, my camera because I have an iPhone X, like the 10, and that's what I film on right now. So yeah, it's kind of not the best quality when it comes to videoing, so I'm sorry. I hope you guys can see and it's not like annoying for you. I feel like it looks a little bit better now, but yeah, let's get on to the other pothos. I'm so excited about this one. This one I'm definitely gonna put on a moss bowl and I'm actually gonna make a tutorial about how to do moss bowls. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a tutorial, but I haven't actually made one yet myself. So I'm gonna make a reel of me just trying to figure it out. And then when I do figure it out, I'll make sure to make a tutorial on how to make your own moss bowls. So this one really needs to be repotted and I will repot it with a moss bowl when I make one. It was $25 for a four inch Cebu Blue. I don't know if you've seen these plants before, but I love it. These leaves are very small compared to other ones that I've seen but I feel like once I make it trail up or climb, <laughs> trail is like down, so I guess climb is up. Um, I feel like it's gonna get a lot, a lot bigger leaves, but I just love these leaves. They're so pretty. I really needed this one <laughs> in my life. So yeah, I feel like 25 was pretty good. I've seen them a lot more expensive online. So I was pretty happy I found these. I grabbed one immediately. This is one of the ones I'm the most excited about, I think. So, yeah. Um, I think I only got one more plant and the other ones are my boyfriend's. So this one was on my wish list. I was hoping to get a bigger one, <laughs> but I got this like little mini Hoya. It's the Hoya tricolor. I think, I'm not sure. 
I'm, I was trying to figure out if Hoya Tricolor and Hoya Crimson Princess are the same because they look the same to me, but I'm not sure. I have to figure that out. But I loved the look of this. I loved like the little green and yellow and like the new pink variegation. So I was like, I'm gonna get a little one. I will take good care of her and make sure that she grows big. It was uh, $9 for 2.5 inch pot. Um, the other ones were quite expensive and they were kind of like drying out um, and a lot of their leaves are like kind of crispy so I was like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cutting off a lot of these leaves because they had like some discoloration and damage to them so I thought the little ones were a little bit better I kind of wish I got a couple little ones to pot together but yeah overall like the hanging ones and the larger pots they weren't as nice looking as this, but they were still nice. I just, I wanted something with perfect leaves and this one had perfect leaves. So yeah, so cute. I'm so happy about this one. I'm so excited about Hoya recently, but like they're expensive, a lot of them. Like you can get two leaves and it's like 50 bucks, but I guess it depends on the kind. This one isn't necessarily a rare kind or anything, but it's so cute, so I'm so happy. This is also one that I'm the most excited about. I just love like the leaf texture. If you don't have a Hoya, and if you've never felt a Hoya before, feel a Hoya, please, for me. Because <laughs> it's so cute. It's, it's called, um, it's nicknamed like a wax plant because that's kind of how the leaves feel. Like they feel kind of like waxy and they're like hard. Like they're like solid. They're not like normal leaves that you would think about. But yeah, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it away now. And I'm gonna show you the plants that my boyfriend wanted to get. I was actually surprised because he always makes fun of my plants. <laughs> well, not necessarily makes fun of them, but like it's not something that he's obsessed with like I am. So when he went in to the nursery actually, he found it very relaxing, I know. I took some video clips of him. So I'm going to put them here if you see them. Um, so yeah, he wanted to get some plants for himself. So this one here, he was most excited about. This is a calidium. I'm not sure what the name, it's just called calidium. I'm not sure what type it is because there's lots of different types, right? But this one he found so pretty and it's only $23. So I was like, okay, get it. Like. I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> He's not going to be taking care of any of the plants that he got. So this one, I'm a little bit scared taking care of it. I did have calidiums um, last year and they did okay. I just made a video actually repotting my corms. One of them was completely dried out. So I'm not sure which one I saved. I'm hoping it grows back, but I haven't seen it yet. So if it comes to this, um, I will be happy. But I'm hoping I can save this one until... Um, it dies. Usually calidiums, I think they die um, in the winter time or like they lose their leaves and then you replant the bulb in the springtime. So I'm going to make sure to figure out how to care better for these. There's a new little leaf coming up here too. This one is huge. Like it's so beautiful. I actually, I took a video of it. I was like, this is so pretty. And then I walked around the garden center. I was like, where, where did Tony go? I was looking for him. And he was over there looking at them. And I, <laughs> I was like, I was just looking at those. He's like, I'm gonna get this one. So look at that veining. It's so beautiful. So I'm glad he picked this one out because it's very pretty. I don't know where I'm gonna put this to. My flash shelf is completely full. And whenever I talk about getting another shelf, he's like, oh, maybe not right now. Like, well, where do you want to put this to then, Tony? So, I guess we'll see. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make space somewhere. There's always space, you know? There's always space for plants. And then we also got a little aloe vera. I had one a while ago, it was very small. And I think it had mealybugs. Yeah, mealybugs are disgusting. They gross me out. Like some people say like, oh, they're kind of cute because they're, they're furry, but that's even more gross. So yeah, it's cute. I got to find pots for all of these. I think I'm going to go thrifting 
and thrift some plant pots and upcycle them. I'm gonna make a video on that too. I think I'll go on Wednesday because I have to go out for a dentist appointment. I don't like going out unless I have to. <laughs> I love being at home with my plants. Um, yeah, so this one was one and I think there's one more. I'm gonna have to go grab it because I already potted it and everything. It's not a normal, I mean, it's a normal plant, but it's not one that I would have chosen because it's actually like a tree. So this is the one that Tony wanted. His mom has this plant. It's a gardenia and it flowers and it smells so nice. So that's why he wanted to get one. He actually has been talking about it for a while. So when he saw a little one, it was like, how much was this? Let me see. It was $27. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to take care of this and we'll make it grow into a nice big tree. So wish me luck on this. If you have any tips on gardenia, let me know. I feel like I'm gonna talk to my mom, she might know, and also Tony's mom. <laughs> so we'll see what to do with this, but I'm hoping it lives. I'm looking at the leaves right now. I think it needs some care, but yeah, this was the last plant that Tony got. So I'm gonna put it away now and I'll definitely share if it blooms on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at earthlingdino so you can see all my plants. And so we connect and you can share your plants with me too. Okay, so those were all the plants that I got. Um, I ended up buying myself some like plant supplies as well, but it's just stuff to like make moss poles. I bought some soil. Um, I didn't buy any plant pots, but I still wanna do that. Like I said, I wanna go thrifting for them instead. But yeah, I'm so excited about my new plants. I'm gonna go on my stories now and, um, and just clean them a little bit, see if I have any pots that I can pot them in. And yeah, just show you guys there what I got. Um, I will probably post this since it needs editing afterwards. So, so you can head over to my Instagram if you want now and I'll make sure to put up a highlight of them because I will have already filmed out by the time this video is up. But yeah, I'm so excited for all my plans. I'm gonna put in a couple clips here of them so that you guys can just see what I got. And I hope you guys can buy all the plans that you want too. Okay, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.